because fan, uh, building, a, uh, building a new system is sort of all consuming. And we had originally thought that this would just be an adaptation. And as we found out in producing fantasy crap, that wasn't the best way to go. So we've sort of diverted that attention was, that a bit. Was a funny day. Yeah, it was a funny day. There was Just one stop day. Like, wait, a, wait a minute. <laughs> this would work better another way. Right. Still have you the know, same. Uh, as far as fantasy crap goes, you still have the same delay deal with mongoose between getting the PDF out. And the oh. Um, I. We will probably have some exception to that rule of fantasy craft. I can't say exactly what it's going to be. We've discussed it. Um, it, it it's something that uh, um, we will probably release the PDF a little bit earlier because that book's been delayed a while. But other than that, can't really say. Yeah. If we have specific dates, we'll, we'll let you know. Right. Right. Are you going to throw black books out for uh, uh, either the old? The 2.0 system or the uh, fantasy craft? Well, um, we've been talking about it this weekend. It's it's all, almost certain at this point that there's going to be a Mastercraft version of 2.0 at some point. Uh, it, that will be at some point. Yes, yeah. yes. It's not an immediate concern, but it's something we've got in our brains. Um, it's it, it would be smaller, obviously. It would be soft down. Um, it would be a lot more espionage oriented than this because this is trying to be sort of all games to all people. Um, so that's one of them. We've got a couple other books that we're working with Mongoose on to try and release in the very near future. They may or may not come before Fantasy Craft, but they won't interrupt Fantasy Craft because it's, it's bizarre. A lot of the things that happen at our company happen concurrently. Like Vow of Silence has three products in basically completely written and just need to be edited. So things just sort of happen, and when they're done, they get out. Um, and uh, and so we've got a couple other things that are in development that that hopefully will come come out soon. So if the if the question is, will there be more Spycraft print books? Yes, definitely. Uh, will they be very soon? Hopefully. Um, will they be before Fantasycraft? Probably. After that, I can't play. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I've been talking about. Oh. <laughs> we have plans. Yeah, no different stuff. Um, but again, maybe. Uh, any other questions? Yeah. Is there a... Bye. Go for it. Sir. What all do you have for coming up for bag full of guns? Uh, we've got a couple uh, in development right now. We've uh, we got some freelancers working on it. You, see, you saw these guys. Um, actually, some of the guys that have picked out of the fantasy or fantasy craft, the uh, <laughs> spycraft forms. I've been talking a lot of fantasy craft this weekend. Yeah. Uh, and um, they're very good. And they're actually working on one. I think looking at toward the end of the month for having a turn in on it. So uh, yeah, doing some more modern stuff, and then actually looking a little more historically. This was uh, yeah. this was great. Uh, the, the at one point on this on this uh, uh, they, we have a private list where all this work happens, and one of them was like, "Can I get a deadline, please? Right. I'd really like to get this done." And I actually wrote back, "You want a deadline? From a, you, you're asking for a deadline. You, sir, are a god. <laughs> this never ever happens." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, uh, th so they're working on one right now. Uh, it's uh, Chinese modern Chinese weapons and things like that. So it's sort of companion. So we'll have our nice East West thing. And then uh, sort of we new weapons of the superpowers. And then I think the next one after that will probably be World War II. I'd like to flush out the World War II catalog. I'm still hoping we'll get first person shooter after eventually. First person That's shooter. Private hope. Yeah, yeah, and first person shooter is something that Scott and I could really bang out fast. We just, yeah. First person shooter out. being a, a uh, it's all the wacky video game guns done with slightly altered names. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, so yes, for the people who run the really fancy stuff, uh, that might be actually closer to Father Star in the long run, because they are almost all sci-fi. Yeah, right. But yes, yes. Um, yes. <laughs> so there's lots of ideas out there, and you know, it's just uh, really, for us, it's it's helpful to have folks that want to enthusiastically do weapons so we can focus on you know, getting the books out. How about stuff pre-World War II? Oh, <laughs> uh, you want World War I stuff. Oh, um, I can do a big one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've also talked, I mean, there's been some discussion. Oh, the Old West one? Well, yeah, we've, an Old West has been pitched. Uh, the, the, the freelancers are interested in that. Uh, the other one that's been kind of interesting to folks has, uh, has been a, you know, sort of like an 1800s. Um, and then uh, Fantasy Craft, one of the things we've, we've already got stats for is muskets and things like that. So and Blood those, those will probably be released in their own separate bag full of guns in addition to uh, being in the club. Right. Um, and the bag full of guns will probably have a, a small amount of new material. Um, 
Uh, we expect that there will probably be some of that, the, that type of repackaging periodically, where this is, for people who don't want fantasy craft, this is something that a lot of people are going to be interested in, having like fantasy craft era um, firearms. So let's just put that out separately in PDF so that the folks that want to uh, want their modular games but don't necessarily want to buy every single book can still, you know, pick and choose the things that work best for them. I want my wind-up guns. <laughs> the wind-up ones, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, uh, I think they'll be good. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, we're happy with that. Then, you know, there's like industrial era stuff and things like that. So we're, we're getting there, but it, some of them match up concurrently with some other conceptual things we're working on, so we'll probably delay them a little bit. This is actually one thing I wanted to put out there, and I guess I'm doing this more for the YouTube folks than I am for anyone here. Although, if it applies to any of you, please let me know. We are actually looking um, for freelancers. We're looking for freelancers in a big, big way, and not just writers, uh, editors, graphic designers. Um, our product catalog is, um, uh, despite all our best efforts, threatening to, to just run us over and leave us for dead. Uh, we have so many products that, that, that are stacking up, and all of them are great, and all of them are things that we really, really want to see done. And they're all um, things that people have asked for. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, we, and we need to increase our product catalog. We are going to inc increase our product catalog and our productivity next year, but to do that, we have to have a lot more freelancers on board. Right. We're fortunately in a much better position to do that now. This is the first year um, since we've been open that, that we've, we've, we feel like we've really got uh, our feet under us. A lot of the decisions that we feel are critical to make this company grow are, are have already been made, and you know, a lot of them have been implemented. So we're this is going to be a big year for us, but only if we get the manpower to pull it off. So uh, if you or anyone that you know is looking for us, uh, just email pat pat at crafty gamescom and we'll, we'll hook you up. See if you uh, see if you got the goods. Okay, so you, you had a question. Blue. Oh yeah, I was reading somewhere. I think it was on your forums. You said after World of Fire and the PDFs were out that that was it, but is there something about the Extinction Agenda? Ah, Extinction about? Agenda yeah. is a separate thing. It will actually come out before the PDFs. Oh. Yeah, there's a, a, remember Operation Nightfall, that novella that we released? Yeah. There's another one of those. Oh, okay, that's yeah. what that was about. Extinction oh. Agenda is the second one. It'll also be free. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how big it is. I'm actually more proud of the second one than I am the first. I think it's got much, um, uh, I, I think that by the time that, that the material for that was written, we really had our feet under us a, a lot more with regard to the, the setting. So we were doing some things that were a lot more interesting. Okay. So, so yeah, that's coming. It, it's part of the preparation for the, for the PDFs. And after that, the PDFs should be knocked down in short order. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was just a novella or if it was actual source book material. No, no, no. Uh, although it will be referenced extensively in the PDFs. Oh, okay. Uh, you had a question? It's just more of the possibility of your PDF-only products going to like a print-on-demand service or anything. Ah, or is that uh, really I like think you'll be very happy in the very near future. Yeah, being the guy that's talking to mongers, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 a lot of the PDFs will wind up going into print in some fashion in the future. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a trick, right? Because you want to make sure that you offer the PDF customers their value, um, beyond just getting it um, in advance. They, they, they need to have a certain amount of material that's just theirs. The print people need to have a certain amount of material that's just theirs. And so it's this careful juggling act to figure out who should get what when, and what should be packaged how, and, and how you put things together to, to make the best offering possible. But we're, we're deep in those discussions now. <laughs> it's actually one of my top three priorities when I get back home. What else? Anybody? So what about Sci-Fi Center? Sci Farther Star, where we've still got Farther Star on the docket, but it's one of it. It's further off than TechKB, so not on our agenda yet. However, if we find lots of freelancers, those will get done faster. <laughs> we have other ones. Beginning we, to see the pattern. We have other ones we want to do, but yeah. there's 